Hello again! Here we go. Okay. So this is going to be the final coat, or hopefully this will be the final coat. We'll get it on nice and thick. What the devil? Do you ever have this problem with your gloves? Right. <laughs> Not the start you want, but just goes to show you. Even the pros have problems. Right there. Get my trusty scales. Trusty scales. Get my trusty seat. Pop that on there, minus the stick. Nice. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to go for the same combination again. Got my little pea of resin in there. Um, a little bit of catalyst and then a little bit of hardener. I'm just going to move that round so you can try and get a bit more. There you go, you can see the whole, the whole shebang. Shebang, shebang. Okay. So, I'm going to go in. Just because it's easier, I'm going to do 30 grams again. Make sure I get it right this time. Right. There we go. Bang on 10. Now we have the actual resin part of it. This is a great resin. It's got a UV qualities to it as well which means that it will protect whatever you comb from the sun which at this time of year we're just starting to see so Ooh. there we go bang oh there's a first okay so now give it a good old stir around again um, not a lot I can really say at this point. I'm just going to keep on stirring. Really pleased so far how the bows came up, come out. I should have done a video for you to explain the uh, method of tillering. Now, this is probably the well. This is the hardest part of making a bow. Uh, it's an extremely delicate process, and it literally involves. Tiny little pencil marks, a little bit of sanding. Tiny pencil mark, a little bit of sanding. Check it on its tillering stick. A little bit of pencil, a little bit of sanding. A little bit of pencil, a little bit of sanding. And it is really, really easy to screw a bow up. Um, I've made quite a few and they've been on, like, on for being a very nice bow. But, Unfortunately, being an idiot, I've gone too hard in with either a, a scraper or used a plane when I should have used a bit of a sandpaper. Just by taking that little bit too much out means that the bow drops pounds and pounds in draw weight. And even though you get a nice looking bow, it's not exactly properly usable. Um, a bow of this size, if this was say 15 pounds, it'd be pretty rubbish for most people to shoot. Um, you want to try and keep it up. 20, 25s, 30s. If you're a hunter, then you want it way up there. I would say 40s to 50s is quite a good hunting weight. Um, we're not allowed to do that here in the UK. That's been banned ever since they uh, outlawed it in the Hundred Years War. They got every man between the ages of 7 and 70 to so practice archery every Sunday. A minimum of, I think it was seven arrows a day or something. And uh, they trained so many people so proficiently that they all turned into poachers and started killing all the, the king's deer and all these wild animals. So they made it illegal. So what can you do? Right, so that's a good couple of minutes waffling about nothing whilst I stir my resin. Now I'm just going to work leave that to one side 
just for a second. There we go. Um, I'm going to have to find myself another brush. I don't think I'll be using this one again. I could try, but yeah, I might have trouble getting the paint to stay on the pot. There we go, there's that. So I'll get another brush from the uh, assorted collection. Now these are great brushes. These are only like, I think they're about a tenner. Tenner for ten from Screwfix. Not the best of brushes, but for what you're going to do with it, it's going to have one application on the resin. That's it, throw it away. So for the, for the sake of it, it's probably worth spending that little bit less use it, throw it away. That way you know that it's always going to be clean, you're always going to be able to use it without it leaving any chemicals or other disgusting traits on your bow. Okay, so here we go. So let's just show you where we're at. Bow's looking pretty nice. So as you can see coming on it's taken that resin lovely though it really has you can see where the cloth's just sitting in and we don't have too much bleed coming into the rest of the timber so very happy about that okay. ain't so bad for a ropey old carpenter all right, here we go, voila, Ooh. now I'm going to try and save a little bit in the bottom of the pot because if I use it all and then I've got any areas where it's missing a bit, a bit thin at least then I can paint some more on but if I use it all, it's going to be very hard to collect it back up again, so... A little bit further up on that tip there, there we go. So, this time, the resin, the cloth's not going to move at all, so you can just go to town with your brushing. Just nice and even, nice and even. So, I'll do one going up. Uh, one coming down. Now, the idea is to get the resin sitting as evenly smooth as possible. Now I'm going to try and leave as much on the face of the fiberglass as I can because I obviously don't want it to uh, drip over the sides and waste away because that's not what we've put it all on for. whole point is it for it to do its job. Right. There we go, another nice long brush section up there. Well, that's what I'm on about, starting to pool up that end. And pool, pooling is when you get too much resin sitting in a certain place. Normally happens around where you have like a little well, a little dip in the resin. So I'm just going to be nice and gentle here. It's so easy to get carried away. I've got a feeling I might have to do this a third time. Oh, we'll lift that. Don't stand up there. Oh, oh. Right. Long, smooth strokes. There we go. So that is what I'm talking about. Right, I'm going to get the rest of this on here. So this second coat doesn't take half as long as doing that first coat. And it really is, I can't emphasise it enough. It's all in a preparation. Get everything all set out, get yourself ready, make sure you've got all your bits and pieces and pots and brushes and stirrers and scales and foam and friends. If you haven't got friends then what's the point in doing this all? So my friends, I hope you're all doing well in this uh, very strange time. Not a lot we can do but 
whilst we've got a bit of free time, I thought I might as well try and enjoy myself. It's crap enough as it is without being all stressed over all rubbish. Right. Just take every day as it comes. Oh, what is going on in that bit there? Something does not want to see. Uh huh. The gunk. You always get a bit of gunk. So that's a nice even stroke. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now that is starting to look fantastic. Proper jet black. Black I tell you. Okay. I'm just going to do that end again. Then I'm going to stop because you really can mess it up by just keep trying to work it and then if it starts to go off it'll clag up you'll leave a big old streak in it and then you'll be most disappointed so that as Bugs Bunny would say that's all folks take care on to the next bit <laughs>